Bingo was indeed his name o Booyah achievement get. Right, so for diamonds. Oh, wait, was that coal? Yes, it was. I just had to make this new pick because I was running on stone and then I was like, oh, look, diamonds, and I couldn't mine it. So, had to get some stone, or no, yeah, iron going. But in this episode, I thought we'd start out with a diamond find, which we didn't manage to do last episode. <laughs> that scared me. Which we didn't manage to do last episode. But uh, I'd also like to get to work on a sort of gazebo thing. I don't know. I, I don't know if I have like a thing for gazebos or it was the fact that we never actually made one in the hardcore. So we're going to be making a gazebo this episode for chest storage. And we'll have some smelting and stuff in there too. But... Uh, we're gonna make it out of hardened clay, so we have the whole mesa biome for that, and I actually partially explored it, not like very well, but where did the iron go? Oh, I see a hole there. Oh, there it is. Uh, I didn't explore it all the way, but it was like insanely huge. Okay, I guess we can do that. <laughs> this. I'm so bad at placing blocks. Uh, yeah, it just went on forever. It was like, like, mesas are supposed to be really rare, which they are, but then they're also supposed to be, like, extremely small, which it wasn't. It's giant, so we can harvest a lot of materials out of that. I think we have to go this way to get out. Not really sure. Okay. Um, coal, yes. Oh, yeah, this is the way out. Not the way I came in, of course, but whatever. Doot, doot. And we're out. So, I'll get to work on mining out some hardened clay. I'm gonna have to, what I might do is just uh, dig down a bit and then just mine like one, like a room out of it. So it won't affect the uh, upper terrain at all. What is that? That wouldn't be players, is it? Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll try to like not damage the terrain at all, and that'll be nice. And I'll come back with a crap ton of uh, hardened clay, which will be very pretty looking. And I'm not really sure what color we'll make the um thing out of yet. I was thinking maybe. I think. Uh, purple looks pretty good. It doesn't actually really look like purple in my opinion. It's more like a, uh, I don't know, dull, like, grayish, purplish thing. And, oh, if you actually cook this sand, it just gives you normal glass. You'd think it'd give you, um, what is it, like, red stained glass, but it just gives you normal glass, which kind of surprised me. Because I thought they would uh, work that in. There seems to be a few things that are wrong with this version of the game anyway. This release. Yeah, so I'll come back with a lot of clay. Ah, gosh darn it. I cannot find any lapis. I've dug a few strip mines here. Um, yeah, I want to find lapis because I have a ton of hardened clay now. Well... Not really a ton, but probably enough to actually build what I'm thinking of. But uh, I want to use blue stained clay, which let me show you here. That's uh, this block here, and I think it looks nice with the wood. And then we can also use, uh, what is it, just wood. <laughs> uh, we can use it with like the oak wood too, which I think will look good. It'll look weird, but it'll look good at the same time. And, uh, yeah, that, that's my plan. Like, it was either, like, I was testing out these. This doesn't really look good. This is actually, like, the cyan dye, and then this is the red, or green. This is, like, light blue. I don't know if I want to go with this. The only thing is, this is just blue, which costs lapis, and this is light blue, which is, like, a lapis, and then some bone meal, too. So we may not actually have enough uh, stuff to do that. Oh, we hit. We don't have any 
uh, Lapis at all, so that kind of sucks. Um, how I got down, I was building a ladder, and then I was like, whoops, and I just, poof, just like dropped all the way down to like the bottom level. See, that was kind of funny. I wish I had been recording for that. But we now have an actual way up now. It's not very safe in the least, but we can climb up. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that, uh, but I want to use some stained glass too. The thing is, I pretty much like don't have any way of getting all the stuff I need. Uh, but the thing is, there's actually a flower that gives you light blue dye. So if I want to do that, I can just go to a swamp with a bunch of bone meal and grow a bunch of those flowers. And you know what, that might be what I actually end up doing, because I, I really do like, I may actually like uh, the light blue better than the, wait, oh darn it, that's going down. I was in the mine for a while. Uh, yeah, I will, I'll, I'll be back once I have whatever material I'm using. So, I put some thought into it, and this is uh, what I was going to go with. I just, uh, originally I was going to do like a circular shape, but then I just decided to plonk it up on top of this hill here. And uh, so it's going to have this base. I was thinking of actually having a base of like wood, but I think that would look kind of weird. Uh, so then, we're going to have the wood supports kind of going around in like a bird cage, and then possibly... Yeah, then we're going to have some, like, tinted glass and probably, like, another layer up here connecting to all those upper blocks of, like, this stuff, this, um, light blue stained clay and, uh, maybe a floor of oak and then we'd be pretty much done with it, actually. It, it's, I think it's actually turning out really nicely, um, for how little thought I put into it. But uh, I think that's just how those things go. So it goes one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then one. Although that may have been the wrong direction. Yeah, this, this should actually be going this direction. I'm trying to do it sort of like the way it's facing towards the building, like at that given point. So that's why this one is facing this way, because it's like the building is... It's like basically perpendicular to it, but uh, that didn't work out over there. So we're trying to conserve as much of this clay as possible. The good thing about the lilac is, or the um, the blue orchid, is that even though it only gave uh, one dye, you can make uh, three, or I mean eight, like hardened clay, stained clay for each dye, so that's really nice. So there we go, and then also there'd probably be like some fences maybe along this outer part. And then I don't know if I wanted to do some more of this stained clay like along the outside part. Or possibly even change to a different color of it because it does look kind of weird. I don't know, it might look better once it's finished, we'll have to see. But if it doesn't then we'll, we might have to change around whatever this stained clay is. Uh, we might need more supports than this too because I don't really want it I want it to have a feeling of openness but I don't want it to be like completely entirely open and also we don't have that much like resources for staining all the glass and all that so yeah that's that's where this is going that's uh, actually going pretty smoothly for my first build and having pretty much like no resources to build it on uh, yeah I'm gonna be coming back when this is more done. You know, see, this one faces this way, and then this one, like, since it's basically almost the same spot as this one, it seems like this one should then be facing inward, but then it looks kind of weird, because it's almost hitting this one. You know what, I might move it to right here so that it's actually parallel, but I was trying to make it kind of, since like the whole hill is kind of uh, asymmetrical. I was just trying to go along with that. So yeah, I shall be back. Okay guys, cinematic reveal. Boom. Okay, so have the second level up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in between here though because uh, 
I think it would look kind of weird with just all glass and then I also added the um, fences and I'm not sure if I want to have it go like all the way up and connect the two fences but we don't really have enough wood for that right now but uh, the thing I was about to do now we need something right here because if it's like all glass it would look kind of weird I think so we're either going to layer this entire bottom layer up with some wood or we're going to uh, put fences along the bottom layer yeah it's gonna be fences I think it looks too constricting if it's because you can't see anything outside of it and yet I still wanna like be able to see this bottom layer here because if we put the floor in like above like one another layer up we wouldn't be able to see the like bottom wall but we'd be able to see like the oh, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about because I really don't uh, I've actually I watch youtubers like that all the time they just start like stumbling around and stuff it can get kind of annoying sometimes but then it's kind of funny because I don't know there's some comic value to that I think <laughs> but yeah so I'm pretty happy with how the builds coming out so far uh, it, it seems like for me though like other people plan out builds like in creative mode or something or they'll build it and then they'll like tweak around with it a bunch and then they'll find something that they like and Skype just went off whoops a daisies um, yeah but they'll tweak around with it and find something that they actually like but no that's not me I've tried both of those methods and it doesn't work but it works a lot better if I just don't plan anything out and slap something together like last second don't do anything it, I don't know that seems to work better for me I'm not really sure why so we'll need a lot of fences so make all of this into fences and you know fences in this game are like way too expensive they like look this is only gonna make f 50 okay a little over yeah 68 fences which really isn't even that much considering how much wood I used now the second thing I have on my mind is this when it blends together with this it I don't know kind of, it looks cool if you don't actually see this part where it's like connecting to the wood so we'll just go around with this and see how that turns out and oh yeah there'd be that means we're going to have to connect all of those like random bits that don't actually connect to anything yeah and that that just looks kind of weird so we'll have to cut that away boom 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 and boom that act yeah that looks really cool I kinda like the idea of uh, the this starting here and then it like separates it more so right here we will do that and oh that doesn't even connect there I forgot so I guess it'll just continue onwards like this and it off oh. Whoop. place one there and almost done with the the cinematic review <laughs> I don't know I've I like really found myself wanting to say that so I did and we're out of fences luckily we chopped like two stacks of this so now oh, we're almost done I'll just keep rolling until that's time to do and perfect match 44 and yeah that it doesn't really make sense there oh I don't like seeing the wood though we'll just keep it like that it's like a unique part of the build or something I don't know okay patching up all the places need to get patched up right here I'm so excited to be like building without planning anything it's it's a lot better it has to be said okay that looks really nice uh, for a gazebo style now comes the glass now one thing I might do is actually have like this along here although the glass won't connect to that so never mind 
that won't actually work. So yeah, the glass will have to go all, see like these giant gaps here just seem kind of like too big. Like the gap in between here and like these gaps, they seem like more along the right size that I was going for. So I'm gonna have to figure that out uh, right now. So I was considering something like this. I tried out like with the clay and then I also tried out with the wood and a fence obviously but uh, it seemed like it was made it too square like I don't know I think I don't think the other supports like seem that like squarish because the like block goes down into the fence actually if we just change yeah see that like juts out too much same with this it like I don't know it breaks up the like I don't even know what to call that the uh it just breaks it up too much, I feel. Uh, not a dictionary, so I don't know what I'm even trying to say. Oh, you know what we can do is, on a random tangent, go down here and get our wheat that should be done by now. Yes, and then we can cook some bread and uh, get that achievement. Actually, what achievements do we have? Okay, so we need baked bread. We need, uh, diamonds to you. So, <laughs> I don't see, okay, I'm gonna have to go to a server for that. We need, like, an enchantment table, throw the diamonds at some random person that we don't even know. You know, I was actually reading comments of someone's video, and they were, like, saying something about, you don't, it doesn't have to be another person, it could be, like, an NPC or something, I'm not really sure. Maybe, like, a zombie. Anyway, with that replanted, we can make our wheat. And yeah, that even looks crappy from a distance, it has to be said, with the um, outward bending stuff. Achievement get, okay. Uh, and we had the bread from the village, because, oh wait, I think I recorded that, yeah. So, we're going to mine away all of this crap. <laughs> The whole thing, not just like, no, <laughs> just like the support things. Uh, and then, I think maybe just use just glass. Like, uh, you know what I could do is line like the bottom or the bottom of the top with fences too. That could look very nice. Oh yeah, that actually makes it look kind of more like a castle though. But that looks pretty cool hmm but what is it does it look like a gazebo that's the only thing and I think it does look like a gazebo so we can just continue lining this and I'll be back with a f like ish finished project okay so much planning later uh, I landed on this idea so we have kind of a retaining wall of dark oak wood, which is actually past the mesa in that direction. I was actually looking for a desert for um, to get enough glass, but then I found that. So to break up a lot of the space, I decided to do this. It doesn't have in really even like follow this uh, at all. It's kind of random to be honest, but we're gonna try to connect the glass like to this and then like to that and then that like you know to this middle part to here and then to this middle part and to there I think like this middle part and up to there will maybe not even work we might do something special for that uh, hmm, I'm not really sure with this addition though we may actually end up taking this away entirely this um fence at the top because I don't know, that looks kind of chunky now and it doesn't really work, so I think we're going to take that away. And then we should be able to blend the glass a lot better with the top part. Uh, it'll look maybe kind of weird when it's going inwards, but it'll look cooler because uh, on the sides it's all going to be like glass panes. So it won't look as weird as it would with uh, just like the glass blocks. So that'll be cool, but... I don't know, I realize I've been saying but a lot. And kind of weird, not just like but, it's like but. Um, 
Yeah, where, where was I even going with that? Um, so yeah, the retaining wall, we're gonna chop all that down because it looks kind of weird. The thing is, from the inside, you can't even really tell that there is a gap, which is kind of a shame because I wanted it to sort of be like a big sort of uh, like domed type of thing, but we, <laughs> um, it should work just fine how we want it to. And then also, I didn't consider this before, I'm not even sure if glass will um, blend to that at all. Uh, we'll have to see, but I, don't, I think it actually might not, so we may have to take this out and replace it with something else as well. Uh, that was like, it was a good idea while we had it, and it still looks good now, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that as of yet. But uh, I'll, I guess I'll figure that out. Ah, there are some tough decisions. Uh, you can see I got some glass. There's actually more smelting over there. But, I mean, this like blends, but not really. So, that and I want to use the stained glass, obviously. I don't have silk touch either, so I have to be careful with this stuff. So I might actually design with this in creative, because I really don't want to like waste a bunch of this. The good thing is, every six blocks of glass gives you a... Uh, 16 so that's pretty good I guess so we don't really need that much sand after all but the thing is at the top uh, we may not even be able to use panes at all which kind of sucks well it really sucks because um, it doesn't like blend up at all like you can't if you put like glass here and then glass here or whatever it blends here like I guess but then if you keep going there's nothing to like blend this to this part so then this would be like open air right here so we may have to use glass blocks for at least the like upper part well I know we're gonna have to use glass blocks for the upper part which is gonna suck because that is like a lot of blocks to fill so we're gonna need a lot of sand plus a lot of dye, which is like gonna end up being a lot more work than it's probably worth. But I'm not really even sure what shade I would like. Maybe like green glass, that would be pretty cool. Green glass for the top. Or I was thinking maybe even just white glass, because that looks pretty cool. Uh, hmm. Or we could even use, uh, I think these flowers give you like light gray dye which looks pretty cool too and it'd be pretty cool because it gives you the flowers give it to you and a bunch of the different kinds of flowers give it to you too so it uh, wouldn't be that hard to get so let's see what this this stuff looks like it pretty much just looks like normal glass but like the um, obnoxious parts of it are dimmed down and it's like a slightly different color so see about this. Um, I need to get some ladders around here too. So I have to keep cutting this down if I want to climb it again. And there we go. Like so. And we'll fill this in like this. So that's what it's going to have to be like. Hmm. That's like pretty, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't know if I want it to be like sort of more standing out or if I want it to be um, kind of just like in the background you don't really notice it. But this kind of gives, if you're like surrounded by that, it feel like you weren't open to the outside even though it is glass so it is see-through. Uh, which would give a nice like muted effect I guess. Uh, I'll have to figure this out. Well, I guess that's it for the episode because it turns out I have like 28 minutes of footage or something. I'm not really sure how much uh, I'll have to add it up all lady but, but it's about that so hope you guys like it leave some likes obviously if you like it um, if you don't then whatever <laughs> um, yeah thanks for watching hope you like the build that was I didn't even design this out at all beforehand so I'm pretty happy about that uh, but yeah bye guys